Hello and welcome back to another lecture. Before we start creating our resources for this project, I want to cover the basic structure of the Terraform files that we will create in this project. A typical Terraform file will have a structure like this. The first thing I want to cover is the resource block. In Terraform, this is a resource block. This is a resource block. And this is another resource block. And in the resource block, you specify the configuration of the type of resource you are trying to create. For example, this first resource block will create a VPC with this configuration. The second resource block will create an internet gateway with this configuration. And the third resource block will create a subnet with this configuration. To create a resource in Terraform, First, you have to start your resource block by typing resource. Then you will specify the resource type. The resource type is how Terraform knows the type of resource you are trying to create. For every resource that you can create in AWS using Terraform, Terraform will give you the name to create that resource type. For example, the resource type to create a VPC in AWS using Terraform is AWS underscore VPC. The resource type to create an internet gateway in AWS using Terraform is AWS underscore internet underscore gateway. And the resource type to create a subnet is AWS underscore subnet. For the names of these resource types, you must specify them the same way Terraform lists them in the documentation. So for these names, you can't change them you must specify them the same way they are listed in the documentation. Once you have specified your resource type, the next value you are going to specify is your local name. This is a local name. A local name is the name you give to the resource you are creating. For example, for this resource, I am creating a VPC. So I give it a local name of a VPC. So for your local name, you can call it anything you want. I am creating a resource here, which is an internet gateway, and I gave it a local name of internet gateway. And also down here, I am creating a subnet resource, and I gave it a local name of public subnet one. So, like I said, your local name, you can call it anything you want. Another thing you should know about the local name is the local name is used to refer to the resource somewhere else on your Terraform file. So for example, I created my VPC resource up here and I gave it a local name of VPC. And I am also referencing that resource down here. So I am referencing it with the VPC local name. So that is what we use the local name for. You can use the local name to refer to that resource elsewhere on your template. The next thing I want to cover are the arguments. This is an argument, this is an argument, and this is also an argument. Most of the resource type you will create in Terraform will have an argument that you can use to configure that resource. And the argument for a specific resource will be listed under that resource type in the documentation. For example, in this resource block, we are creating a VPC and we are using this argument to specify the VPC CIDR block, instance tenancy, and enabling DNS host name of this VPC. So for every resource you are creating in Terraform, there will be extra arguments that you can use to configure that resource. The last thing that I want to show you are this bracket. So for everywhere you see an open bracket, you must have a closed bracket. For example, this bracket opens here, and you can see we closed it here. This bracket opens here and we closed it here. Wherever you put your equal sign doesn't really matter. I always like to line up my equal sign under each other, but it does not matter where you put your equal sign as long as the equal sign are in the brackets. So for this bracket that we opened here and closed here, it does not matter where you put the equal sign in the brackets. And if you don't understand this now, don't worry about it. As we build our Terraform file, all of this will make sense to you. In this lecture, 
I just wanted to show you the basic structure of a Terraform file. Thank you guys and I'll see you in the next lecture. Bye.